Good morning. I am Christine Kidder. I can't even say my name this morning. Oh, I need more coffee. I'm Christine Kidder, your career coach, job search coach, helping you, guiding you to work that works for you using my HR Insider knowledge. It's 10 o'clock and it's time for us to get started right away because I want to be respectful of your time. It's crucial to do that. And I'm going to share our template with you that we follow. If you can't put in the comments, I'd love to know where you're working from this morning. That would be great. And let me share. I need to make sure that I share the appropriate screen with you. This is, I'm gonna have to figure out why there's, a, it's not as clear as it should be, but you should be able to see the seven steps to job search results. But again, you don't have to be in job search mode. I've said this before, I'm gonna keep on saying it. You can still use this to plan your week and have a great week getting the results that you want. We're gonna go ahead and start with the first step. And again, please, if you're joining, if you're watching this, put in the comments where you're working from this morning, that'd be great. And of course, any questions that you might have. All right, I'm gonna set our timer for the first thing to do, which is to warm up. We're going to create some mental white space. We, I don't know what kind of morning you've had so far. It might've been stressful. Hopefully it's been great so far, but regardless, you probably have a lot of things on your mind right now. We need to clear it. We need to get present to this present moment, focus on the now. All those things that are on your mind right now, I need you to put them, write them down, put them on a piece of paper, or you could also put them in a Word document, but get them off of your brain. So do a brain dump. Everything that you have on your mind right now, just get it off because our minds aren't the best for storage. They're much better for creativity. And we really wanna free up that space, be kind to ourselves, give, our, give ourselves a break and do that. So I'm gonna set the timer for five minutes starting now. And I will also, um, I'm gonna just mute myself and also go off of video because I think my screen is being shared right now. Um, so I'm just gonna have leave this up and that way you can focus and uh, go from there.
About 30 seconds left, so you'll want to start wrapping up. Okay, my timer is going off now. Time for us to move to the next thing to do on our list, which is to attack our inbox. Our inbox can be, uh, let's just say, pretty stressful, uh, but there's no reason. It's a choice. You don't want to you don't want to let it stress you out, and there's no reason to. It just it's not productive. It doesn't serve you in any way. So for the next five minutes, we're gonna jump into it and you can do a variety of things. You can unsubscribe. If you're like me, sometimes I subscribe to way too many emails. So take five minutes to do that. You can also delete some emails. Maybe you've got emails that you just need to get out of there to clear the clutter. Maybe you've been procrastinating on an email that you need to send for your job search or for a pro the project that you're working on. You can do all of those things or one of those things, whatever, in the next five minutes. But let's, let's jump into our inbox and take action with it starting now.
We have less than a minute to wrap up. There is my timer. So now we all know what that means. We have to keep on moving here. It's important. All right. Next step for us in our planning this morning, we need to set our goals. We need to be in action and we need to decide what that action is. The main thing is to set your weekly goals. You're going to have five minutes to do this as well. You shouldn't have too many goals. I recommend no more than three to five for the week. Picture yourself Friday afternoon, end of the week, and you're in a great mood. You're so happy because you were super productive. What has to happen this week for you to have that feeling? Write it down then. So again, three to five goals, nothing more. And then if you have some extra time, you can actually plot out like what days you're going to work on which goals. I have on here, I'm going to just continue my, sharing my screen here, but I do have as part of the handouts that you'll get. So make sure that you are on my email list so you can get my materials from the from today as well as the, the actual video because you can always watch it again too if you like to plan future weeks if you can't make the live event. But here's the blank worksheet for plotting out each day. All right. But that's what you can do. And then, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and set the timer for five minutes starting now. But set your, your weekly goals. And if you have time, do the daily goals.
About 30 seconds to wrap up. Wrap up your goals, the goals that you're setting for the week. Okay, my timer went off. It is pretty quiet. It's not loud and obnoxious, so that's a good thing. All right, our next thing, our next step in our planning session this morning is to plot out in our schedule for the week, when are we going to be connecting with people? Connecting is a key component of any successful job search or a project. You can't do it by yourself. You need to, to work with others and to move work forward. I'm going to share something new. Well, it's not new. We've done this on prior calls, but I'm going to stop my share of this screen. And I'm going to share, oops, wait, actually, I went to the wrong screen here. I'm going to share a different, this is my connection worksheet that I'm sharing with you that I put together. All right, so you should be able to see this. It is, it's a one pager, so you'll get this as well. It's what I recommend for your connection work. Again, in your job search, and that's what this is geared for. However, you can use something similar for your project work as well. And you gotta make a game out of it to make it fun. Many people don't like networking. I don't even call it networking. I like to think of it as connecting instead. It just sounds so much better. I feel better when I, I think of that. And um, I need to blow this up so it's bigger, it's too small. And so you get points for different types of connection activities. I'm gonna let you go ahead and um, look at this, but basically schedule your connection activity for this week. Block it out in your calendar. Use Leverage your calendar to get the results you need because if you don't commit to it and if you don't put it in your calendar, it's not going to happen. You do need to have calendar integrity too, that's essential. Like once you have something scheduled, you make it happen. You don't. Oh, hem and haw and, and do that. So put in your calendar when you're going to do this connection activity and at least two to three connection activities, conversations, live conversations with people and uh, make sure that you also have that calendar integrity. Okay. And I will set the timer for five minutes starting now. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments. It's not a problem at all. I also put a link for if you need some one-on-one -on -one help, we could book, book a time to do that. And then give me your likes. I want to see if you like this, if you find this helpful, um, whatever. I want to hear your reactions or if you could just, you know, how you would like something. <laughs> so anyway, sorry, I have to set the timer now. Starting, go.
We have less than a minute left. Who are you going to connect with this week? And on what days of what time? There's the timer. All right, time for our next step is I go back to our, uh, our template for you, sorry. I'm a little, I have too many screens up. That's the problem. <laughs> I do have this memorized, but I still like to, I wanna make sure that you can see it. That's important. Oops, I was sharing the wrong one. That's not gonna go work. Okay, back to our template that we're following for our planning session here. Okay, now we're gonna take a little longer time. We're gonna take about 10 minutes to review our search documents. And this includes our LinkedIn profile. Often when people are doing a job search too, they really focus on their resume and people hate updating their resume. You should always have an updated resume, but the LinkedIn profile, in my opinion, your LinkedIn profile is even more important because people can pull it up so quickly, they meet you and it makes an impression. Plus we have such a short attention span, you wanna make a good impression right away. That is, this is my tip. Your LinkedIn, your, your LinkedIn profile should really tell a story, it's not your, it's not an electronic version of your resume. Your resume is your resume. So your LinkedIn profile should tell your story and, and convey your brand. And there's some really great LinkedIn profiles out there. I've seen a lot of them and I've seen some really bad ones. Um, but that's, that's my tip. My new tip is make sure your LinkedIn profile is not just an electronic version of your resume. It should convey your story. It should tell your story. You want people to linger on your profile when they pull it up. You want to suck them in, engage them, and really tell your story, share your story, because we want to hear it. I want to hear it. And I'm happy to help you with that as well, because I know many people get really overwhelmed by that. Okay, I need to be quiet so we can take our 10 minutes to work on this. So. You can take this 10 minutes again to look at your LinkedIn profile right now and see, huh, how can I fix this? Your profile picture should be a picture of you taking up like 60% of the frame. You should have a good banner photo. It shouldn't be the generic LinkedIn photo. You should be telling a story in your LinkedIn profile. Or you could also use this 10 minutes to look at your resume. You may love your resume right now, but you should periodically look at it. Maybe there's a new job posting that you wanna submit it for and you really need to tailor it a little bit more to that job posting. Those are your choices. That's how you can use this coming uh, 10 minutes starting now. And please uh, let me know if you like this, Give me your comments, likes, dislikes, uh, whatever. But I want to know what your reactions are to this. Uh, I appreciate it. Thanks so much. I've, uh, I've received uh, some good comments. And I'm going to answer some questions. I'm noticing some questions now. So I will get to those in the comments. Thanks.
We're more than halfway through this 10 minute time block to update our resume and or our LinkedIn profile. Less than two minutes to wrap. Be quiet. Okay. Great. And I wanted to, to give you a little bit more information on what we just wrapped up. So in the actual materials that you'll receive, you'll 
you'll notice, and you might have noticed already while I have it up on the screen, that I say to spend 25 minutes reviewing your search documents. It's hard to do it in 10 minutes, but I want to keep this whole session to an hour so we keep on moving through things. But I encourage you, if you need extra time to finish this stuff up, please do that for yourself. It's important to have that regular habit of looking at your resume and your LinkedIn profile to update them because they're really living documents. It's important. Job search mode, definitely. And if you're not in job search mode, you should still have a regular habit of doing that. That's really important. Okay, so now we're going to take five minutes. We're heading down the stretch here. Oh, and there is some time that I'm going to have for comments as well, or questions, I should say. And there was a Chelsea, I missed your question that you had. So I did put it in the comments. If you could just let me know what it was that you needed an example of, I'm happy to provide that. And then uh, give me your likes, give me your comments. I want to see uh, what your reactions are to the com to what we've done so far in this planning session. Uh, our next thing that we need to do that we need to move on to is we're going to take five minutes to do a shout out to thank those who have helped us with our search today or also if you're working on a project who's helped you so far with your project you can do it a number of ways you can tag them in a post on social media which is always a nice thing to do especially on linkedin you could send them an email or you could shoot them a text message or you could call them but any of those things would be really good uh, I'm going to set the timer for five minutes and I want to thank you as well for uh, being on this, participating in this work session. I really am honored that you've entrusted me with your time this morning to plan your week. So thank you for doing that. I'm going to put, I would love your feedback too. It would only take a minute or two. I'll put that link in the comments and let's start our time starting now. And let me mute this. So you can have some time to do this. Who do you need to thank and shout out?
less than two minutes. Okay, that is our timer. All right, we have one more step to do in our weekly planning. And then again, uh, just as a reminder, there is going to be a little bit of time at the end to answer any questions that you have. So put your questions in the comments. That would be great. And by you asking the question, you're also helping others. So that's, that's a good thing to do. Okay. Smile, smile is the last thing. And uh, it, you're giving someone a smile when you're sending them a handwritten thank you note. How often have you received a handwritten thank you note? Really think about that. I know I haven't received that many myself. And when I do receive them, it lights me up. It's a nice thing to receive. And if you're doing a job search, it's a great way to make yourself stand out from the other candidates. It doesn't have to be super long. I think short and sweet is actually the best way to go. But regardless, send a, just one. All I have to do is one. Take five minutes right now to send a handwritten thank you note to someone else who has helped you. Starting now.
Less than two minutes. Okay, our timer has gone off. So we're basically done with our planning. I want to see if there's any questions. I'll be watching the comments. There's a slight delay, but when I look at a different screen, I think they come up pretty quickly. Uh, as a reminder, I put it in the comments again, but there's a link to get on my email list and that way you can get the materials from today as well as future resources. So you want to make sure that you get on that email list. As I really only provide content, I really uh, committed to providing value on that and making sure that you're, you're getting emails that are short and sweet to the point that have helpful information for you. I'm not seeing any comments. So I'm going to go ahead and just go back to my tip that was about your LinkedIn profile, how it should be a story, and uh, it shouldn't be just an electronic version of your resume. Yeah, that, that you want to stand out. And it's so hard, you know, especially, if, for example, when the pandemic hit, we had to go to virtual interviews, and it was harder to really convey who you are as a person, as a professional. And that's why our LinkedIn profile, that's where that helps a lot in conveying your story, in communicating your value. So if you don't have your personal picture in your profile picture, you need to get that. You absolutely have to get that. It should be a professional headshot. If you, it really shouldn't be a selfie. If you're pressed for time, do the best you can. Be in imperfect action. A picture of you is better than no picture because, again, you want to communicate you. Um, so, again, don't forget that. And then the banner in the background should communicate something about you professionally as well. I'm happy to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation to help you with that. We have one more minute left. Uh, Chelsea, I think that I had missed your question. I'm not sure if you're still on live here, but you can always message me in LinkedIn if you do have any follow-up questions. And if we haven't had a live conversation, uh, sometimes like with connections, we connect, but we haven't had a live conversation. Let's do that because that way, and it, it won't take long, but that way I can get to know you a little bit more. I can hear your elevator pitch, give you feedback on it. And then I can, you'll be top of mind and I should be able to help you with my connections. So at the end of the day, that's what I'm here for. All right, our hour is up. Thank you again. And I hope you have a great week and let's stay in touch. I'll be following up with you, uh, but please let me know how things are going throughout your week and have a great day. Thanks again. Bye.